Let's, we don't have to. All right, guys. We're going to try this to play, try to play some more Destiny here and see if it keeps lagging out. There is something strange possibly with their internet connection, so let me know. Everything that I see so far seems really looking good. Nothing lagging, nothing. Yeah, it looks a lot better now. Far seems really looking good. Blah. Nothing lagging, nothing. Yeah, it looks a lot better now. Okay. Far seems really looking good. Blah. Nothing lagging, nothing. All right. Yeah, we should be good. Cool. One, three. All right. All right, guys. Let me know if it acts funny at all. All right, I'm gonna try to tune in and watch this a little bit. Ten, yeah, I'm actually ten, tenfully. Actually, trying here. I really like this deck. This deck is really good. Okay. CPU is not even lagging out. My CPU is only at twenty percent. Um, I'm at 60 frames a second, 1080p. It might have just been the old Destiny, you know? I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it reacts with this. But, I mean, everything's good. I was getting a latency detection um, earlier, so... Yeah, people will come back. So guys, let us know in the comments how it seems now. Okay, cool. Thanks, Charlie. Charlie, thanks for the game, man. We're just trying to get you to speed up a little bit, but you're doing okay. Don't take it the wrong way. Now, if Ray was here, he'd be knocking on your door right now. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, he yeah he'd walk to Florida. <laughs> Charlie, it's your turn. <laughs> oh man, I miss Ray's laugh. And I'm not playing any music right now, just to make sure that um, nothing lags out. I mean, I always tell you don't do it, but everybody ignores me. The silence kills me. You can listen to music, just don't throw it through the channel. That's all. Right. You know how to do that now. <sighs> I'm watching him play against you here. You're sure a lone star. Freaking Luke is awesome. Just five damage. Or no, I'm sorry, excuse me, four. Okay. Sitting on that two focus. So he's gonna straight turn that to the plus three and the two. I'll do seven damage. Take out Cassian almost round one. He won't. Uh, he might. Could be wrong. He slow plays it. Luke Ayla is just awesome. I love that deck. It is so solid. Yep, he did. So he's gonna if he's probably gonna go after Cassian just because you got that force meditation sitting on him. That's the plan. Is it? Okay. Yeah. All right, so there's five in the Yoda. Half health. Still could put two in them. So seven damage turn one with 23 cards versus 25. Now 22. 
So you're just going to do a straight claim. And no supports and discard, so he's not going to pop anything. Oh! I don't know how I did that. You know, it's that new feature on, on uh, TTS where you push the squiggly button. <laughs> oh my gosh, does this not have a correct side anymore? Is what? What? Blah. That's funny. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, TTS at its finest. We're going to simulate anger and frustration. TTS, too much shady shiznit. Oh, here, here it is. All right, let's play this game now. I'm trying, I'm trying. No. Oh. In the words of Ray Julia, just play the game. Bop. <laughs> I pressed a button, dude, and weirdness happened. It's yours. It's from the mill over here, I think. Have you milled two from from Force Meditation? I don't remember. Okay. okay. Thank you so kindly. Okay, he claims. Uh, I think, I think we messed up. How's the stream, Charlie? Anything funny? Lag, buffering? <laughs> Alright, Maz's goggles. Wow. Okay, I'm just trying to make them beef up because he's going after my boy yeah. over here. Yeah. Yeah. He discarded cards? <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it was good though. So Charlie, what's your other idea? Ooh, almost triple blanks. Still five damage. That's a dead, it's a dead, that's Yoda. A dead Yoda. Dead frog. Ribbit. Uh, I will accept the death. Friends and low. Mm, yes, good choice. Great choice. Alright, Yoda's dead. That sucks, but this deck still wins even if Yoda is dead. We do have the second chance in your hand, and the easy pickings. Easy pickings is two blanks. Uh, not until, hit a post special. not until Poe is showing something. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, now you can get the Poe and the Luke. I'm going to let him discard the reroll first. Just hope they don't match. Uh, you mean like blank. that? Look at all these blanks. Blank city. And I don't have the pod racer. This is bad. There's the discard to reroll. A shield, a special. Okay. So that's a two action discard to reroll, possibly. Yeah. And I'm fine. I'm sitting okay. Lots of shields. I'm going to discard a reroll. No, I'm not. Maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. How's everybody doing? I only got three people watching. 
So, Midnight. Charlie, I don't like the rubber mat idea, Charlie, because... Well, I don't know. Unless you're talking about, like, a foam mat. Like, if we used a foam mat, and then we cut a square out of the foam mat, that's not necessarily a bad idea. Because then it still gives you a tray to cut into. Joe Rankin. We were just talking about you. Oh, man. Missed you, bud. It is, it is not a stream unless Joe Rankin's here. So, Joe Rankin, we were streaming for a while. Um, yes, I am going to start addressing you by your full name now. So, Mr. Joe Rankin, uh, we were streaming earlier, and we were running into buffering and latency issues with the internet. So, we just restarted. So, we're going to play, like, one more game here, and then um, call it a night. So, but thanks for popping by, man. Yeah, school year started, so that's going to uh, keep you busy. I know. So, Charlie, yeah, we could do, like, a foam mat. And cut cut it out of a foam mat with like a metal roller and stuff. And uh, try to have something to roll the dice into. And as long as it's the size we need it, then yeah, it's actually a simple, easy idea that probably wouldn't be too expensive. So we could definitely try that. As long as the lines are cut real nice. And then we could put up like a solid color play mat underneath where the square is we're rolling into. And perfect. It just needs to be like inch and a half, two inches thick. Dang, dude, that's awesome. Teach those kids how to play some COG games. See, now you just need to teach them probability and percentages off of the dice. Yeah, Charlie, start, man. Try to build it. See if it works. Oh, observers can flip the table, apparently. So I can always set up permissions, and permissions are already set. So as long as everyone is gray, they should not be able to. Because literally flip was unchecked, I thought. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to be all over top of this. Okay. <laughs> Language arts teacher, not math. Yes, Charlie, it's a go. Let's do that. I think that's a simple idea that could be perfect. Because our goal is to roll dice into something that is below level. So, yes. Let's try it. Yeah, I mean, some people are still learning about Star Wars Destiny. Not everybody loves it. I mean, people want to play games that their friends are playing. So if their friends aren't playing Destiny, then they're going to just become uninterested just because of that. Okay, so blank in that one. If he discards, it's going to be baller. He's got 14 cards. So that's two. Yeah, Joe, thanks for doing your part, man. Double blink. Yeah, we're trying to do some in real life recording on Facebook to try to get that side going. So we've had some hiccups here and there, just trying to get things set up as, you know, as it takes. Um, time to do and we'll be ready next week will be a better week I believe we're actually going to do something where in the stream for in real life gameplay um, it's going to quickly show the opponent's hand so there's two cameras there's a main overhead camera that's going to film the game actually on a tripod with just top overview and then there's going to be a uh, camera by each person and simply what that's going to be is there's going to be a stage where you can, when the, uh, when each player draws their starting hand, you'll actually have a separate little tiny box that shows their starting hand and what they mulligan, and then that box goes away. And then all you see is a top-down view. And then when the round resets, then you get to see what they have in their hand again. So it's a neat little on and off feature that we're going to have for our in real life gameplays. So you can see what the people are drawing. So as a, as a viewer, you can see what a good starting hand is in their opinion and right, what they want for the decks and sometimes that's hard to see on the stream so that's something cool that we're going to do that i'm excited for yes just like poker table that's what gave us the idea 
Um, so, like, if you watch, like, Texas Hold'em or any kind of competitive poker game, they have a piece of plexiglass, and they have the camera underneath the table. So they kind of keep their cards in that piece of plexiglass area. Well, essentially, you don't want to have all five of your cards like that. So we're kind of setting up something similar with a tripod next to us. It's real easy, it's simple, on and off feature. Um, so, again, once we kind of do these things a few times and test it all out, then it just gets, hey, this is what we're doing every single time, streamlined, and it becomes easier. Uh, we were fighting a glare issue uh, this last Thursday, so we're going to try to fix that and do some neat things. And I have a friend of mine, uh, Jeff Jones, that's going to be running the stream for us with our equipment and some of his equipment because he's wanting to get into this, so I'm trying to teach him. So as we play and as we do things on Locals, we have someone that helps run the tournament for us um, as part of Jackman Games and also uh, their little side thing they're starting as well. Yeah, you should link that. Um, link the video. I like to look at it. The problem is it takes a team to do this stuff. So, like, that's the hard part. Is like, I can do a lot of this stuff. I know how to do it. And the stuff that I don't know how to do, I can find pretty quickly. It's just hard to teach and show or do at the same time, you know. But, yeah, if you were to send me some links of stuff that you like seeing and stuff that's impressive, I'd like to find a way to bring that to the table for you guys in a practical way. But again, we, we do what we can to try to make things easy for viewers. Um, and then as we get things more fine-tuned, then we, we'll be able to focus more on our gameplays. Man, look at that. That's tough there, Kev. What are you thinking about? Me? Yeah. Uh, how this stinks. There's a way you could potentially jump out soon. I mean, I don't really see I it probably should have got rid of Force Jump for, um, for the second chance. I should, probably should have rewrote it. But I was greedy. Yeah, Charlie, if you can have a new game board by next stream, that'd be great. Yes, so, um, Joe, yeah, send that to me. Because what I want to do is, um, me, Kevin, and, and Ray, um, we we try to get together at least, like, on Tuesdays or one day during the week and have, like, what we call our clerical days. So it's, like, our days to talk about ideas, what we should put attention towards, what we should, you know, not put so much attention towards and or disregard or do something new or get away of, you know, th things that we need to talk about. Um, it's just kind of a day for us to sit and talk and, and go through things. And then we have days where we actually... Uh, play test which we're trying to get more on track of now that kevin's kind of getting more settled in and my workload has been coming a little bit less intense and demanding which has been nice yeah it's rough all right so he's not out yet i got one more yep okay oh 10 yes you're right you're right heal up five he's got three there on the table There we go. Yeah, that double focus on Poe is crazy. Well, it's okay. If he focuses the damage, I just force, force jump it away. So he has to go to special and shield, yeah. Yeah, Joe, I know, man. Just kind of bear with it, and then you can always still connect with us, whether it's on Facebook on Thursdays or live streams on Saturdays. So that's why we look forward to this. No, Charlie, we do our clerical days on Tuesdays, but we're going to be uh, doing the real life at Breakpoint on Thursday night still at like 6. Actually, it starts more at like 7. Oh, wait, I did this backwards. 
<laughs> and then... Yeah, so okay. people like do the whole viewing angle where it's next to them and they kind of stick the side shot of the person there. Um, that's cool. I just want just their hand being seen and then that would go away and come up. Also, there'll be a fourth camera set up for our intermission screen. So what we do is as we're setting up for the next game, we actually have an interme intermission slide. Um, that way they can just see what's going on. That way they feel like they're there at the locals. So um, with that being said, Make sure you check out some of the videos we've done on Facebook um, and let me know what you think about it, Joe. I care about your opinion, man. Yeah, so if we did like an overview at the decks of Stark, that'd be really cool because if you're a new player, you at least get to see or understand how that deck's supposed to play out. So like a cool thing would be is maybe change the intermission screen um, into, hey, this is the deck, this is what it does, da 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 And then the other person jumps on, this is the deck, this is what it does, and then it goes into the actual in real life gameplay. <laughs> He's so mad. So ours, we can stream at 720, no problem. Um, Facebook just has an issue where like some people can stream at 1080, some people can't. So I'm trying to figure out how to get that smooth, but I'll look into that more once everything's set up and I'm happy with the way it's set up and running. Then I'll go through and try to improve the last little bit of the of the video quality. And Charlie, um, Tuesday on the project. Um, yes, so if you want to work on the project Tuesday, you can. Um, if you want me to help you do the project, I can try. Just the problem is, is it's just hard getting down there to help you work on it. But um, Thursday, I'll be at Locals. I won't be able to be there Tuesday. So, yes, I'm trying to do more stuff on Facebook because no one's really doing much on Facebook. I mean, they are, but um, not much for Star Wars Destiny for streams. So I'm trying to feed information and feed streams to people there on Facebook because some people don't like deal with youtube much they don't even have a youtube account like i'll talk to people who are like oh i don't have a youtube account i'm like all right well do you have a facebook account and everyone always says yes so to do that and get facebook out there it just kind of makes it more convenient for the watchers um we do have abilities to stream on multiple platforms it's just facebook is kind of not one of those um so unless you pay like 20 dollars a month to do it and i don't want to do that but we may end up doing something where i restream on twitch and on youtube at the same time there you go That saved you. And you're hanging on yeah. by a thread, huh? Uh, he has one card left. I'll be able to get two from his hand, minimum. Jeez, that's rough right there. Look at that. Did You didn't force speed. Yes, so Team Covenant, they use like a 4K camera, I believe. Like the super expensive stuff that's like extremely clear. Um, so my goal is to eventually someday, as we progress and as we become better players and as we get more and more support, um, try to upgrade our equipment so everything's just high def. Um, so, I mean, the biggest thing is just practicing, setting up, doing things, trying things out. Then once you find out and fill out all the areas, then you just got a set routine that you fill out every single time and you set up the same way every single time it becomes easier. So, I mean, we haven't hit a year yet. Kevin, when do we hit our year mark? Is it January March 21st. or January? Okay. So January 21st, we hit a year. So uh, we're ahead of schedule of where we wanted to be in a year. And then out of we're like mark, a million years ahead. Yeah. So once we hit, like we're trying to hit our thousand subscribers to monetize on YouTube, then we start focusing on Twitch, focusing more on Facebook, um, once we get all those platforms kind of figured out and set up, then we're just going to just keep developing more and more things. We launched a website this year. Uh, we started doing articles this year. Um, so, I mean, with that being said, after we do that, next year is going to be finding out what we need to invest money in. Uh, this year, I invested more money into my computer because that's mostly what we do all of our recording and streaming off of. Um, so that was all done this year. And then next year, we'll be doing things with tripods and cameras and stuff like that. But if we end up joining forces in a sense with jeff jones um he may end up supplying a lot of the equipment just relying on maybe some of my knowledge and teaching 
on how he can do it on his own and then he'll just promote jackal on games as part of the stuff that he does and us do the same kind of almost like a business partnership um so that way as we travel and stuff i can play and not focus so much on the coverage uh, but still be involved as far as doing commentary or being involved as far as talking to people or doing deck profiles without having to set up all the stuff and do it that's kind of a lot of what knights of ren does is they don't necessarily play a lot but they do just a lot of coverage um Team Covenant has a full team, so they, they have a team that does all the stuff for them, and they just play as their team records it. So that's kind of what I'm wanting to do with um, Jeff Jones is kind of join with him so he can do the coverage while I kind of play the game, so to speak. So that's kind of what we're trying to put together here, step by step. So he's been coming down to the locals to um, test stuff out. Yeah, it does. It does cut costs down. Ray's been a lot, um, a lot more involved with the deck building and playtesting. Kevin's just trying to get his life settled back in, and then I'm trying to get away from working so much all the time, so I actually have time to do the things I want. So, be able to playtest more, set up some new things. So it's going to start all pulling together here, um, towards probably the end of next, or actually this month in September. So things should start smoothing out soon. <laughs> Joe's like darn marriage. That's me. <laughs> no, it's funny because like his his wife Taryn was like, Kevin, you need to do more stuff for Jackman Games. <laughs> yeah, she actually got mad at me. You had a three month break from school, right? Or was it longer? Uh. Uh, da, da, da. all of june all of july all of august yeah three months yeah it's time joe's going on 19 years that's awesome so i'm on nine years so you got 10 years on me joe <laughs> i finished one month awesome congratulations man he's just rolling the heat i mean just the thing about it is is Man, is Poe better than running Ayla? Like, those two focus sides is ridiculous. It's delivering consistent damage. And it's red-blue. And it's red-blue. It's not mono-blue. I like this build. Well, if I roll... If I roll it here... No. Nope. <laughs> Just the thing about this is, like, you're using a whole Ayla die to turn an opponent's die and your die versus you could just use one Poe Dameron die to turn two die to any side if you potentially hit it. And it's focus lets you turn another die and gain one shield. I think Poe Dameron's probably better in a sense. I like this deck better, I think, than Ayla Luke. This might be the way to go. Takes the shields. Oh, he just wants to pop them. Yeah, I need to watch that match. The Afro Snoke Battle Droid. So Drew with Arrowbrook took it from what I understand. He's a great player. Um, him and Ray talk quite a bit, and um, they get to play test you know, quite often because Ray, Ray gets probably about four or five hours of his day that he can just put into Destiny, which is nice for him. Um, I've actually changed my entire morning schedule where I get up at like 5.30 now. Yeah. And exercise, eat breakfast, play some Destiny, go to work come home, spend family time, and then at night play Destiny again. So I've actually been trying to find a way to sneak in in like an extra hour or so to do some some play testing and deck builds. So hopefully you guys will see more content coming from me soon. And like legit content, like not just building like a deck in 20 minutes and playing it. Um, some of it may be me playing a deck just off of, you know, Star Wars database, just trying it out and see what's up um, and give my opinion on it. Some of it may be some deck builds that me and Ray and Kevin are working on. So I'm excited. I feel like things are going to start settling down and getting more constructed. So just like anything, like when people realize how the mill functions and how it works, people just build around it. They adapt to it. I'm just going to make him keep passing. <laughs> Dang, Joe. It's busy, dude. Hey, good night, Charlie. Thanks, dude. Thanks for hanging out, watching the stream. 
supporting the Jackalman as always, man. We really do appreciate it. And Charlie is one of our Patreon members. And uh, maybe one of these days, man, you'll win that box. Tom Reed won the box uh, from us last. He's in the UK, so we got that coming to him. And we'll be doing our next drawing at the last Saturday of this month for all of our Patreon members for um, August. <laughs> There's a second chance. <sighs> it just stinks that he's got... Ancients. That's the problem. Ancients. Yeah, it's okay there. Yeah, man. Get back in it, Joe. It's a great game. It's a nice sit-down, study step-by-step -step game. Those are always fun. Ouch. Yep. You get the focuses or the blanks? The damage. Okay. Because you can't discard to reroll. And if he passes, I just have to pass. So he turned this. I'm sure he sees it. Oh, nice. Bye, right, Charlie. Yeah, Rex Trooper Maz. I love that deck. That deck does really well. This Luke Poe, I think, is better than Ayla. That's something I want to rep more. Um, we're working on a Jetta wide. Gungan deck. How's that been working for you, Kevin? Is that you think that's still got any play or you think mm. that's done? No, it's done. How much is that? Three. Taco, Talzin, Commando, Commando, me and Ray did a let's talk on it. Um I wish we had more time to actually talk about that build because that does a lot of a lot of damage over time and it slow plays really well. Um and it slow plays to where you're not getting rid of a lot of cards, so you don't deck out. You actually bounce a lot of stuff back so it continues to play out and keep cards. Um, it doesn't run things like Force Illusion. Um, it doesn't run Force Wave. The build I've been playing focuses more on Force, force Push and Relby um, and Force Throw, along with the um, Holocrons, obviously. I think I, I think I messed up. I think I messed up. Well, he's going to bounce... card from my opponent's hand why you maybe it'll still pull it through you might claim here yeah yeah docking bay with uh, suppressive fire and honor guards awesome Yeah, I need to play test this some more. I do understand what you're saying about Rex Blaster, though. Um, I need to put more and more reps into it to tweak it a little bit, see what we can do to make it a little bit more consistent. But it's got health. It's three wide. It's got speed. It's got consistency. It's got big damage. Yeah, you ain't kidding. So we put together the rest of the updated proxies for um, across the galaxy, and that set's going to be fun. I, I'm really excited for Vader and Vader's lightsaber. That's something that I'm super excited about. And when that spoiler hits, I'm going to be playtesting just constantly. So just how Monk was just playing Palpatine, 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 that's, that's what I'm going to try to do with Vader and just see, explore, and see what I can get out of him. And I believe his elite point cost was going to be 23. Flame, what's up, man? So, as you see, Sir Lone Star is out of cards. Kevin's got one card left in hand. And Kevin I just is got, trying to. He just to get, has to 
play pass. Yeah, he's just trying to get through that's that. That's three matrix. damage. That's four damage. That's five damage. That's six damage. You could try to stay alive, but you're still going to dick out. I'm playing it. <laughs> so this is, as far as game, this is Star Wars Destiny on TTS. Um, and this is the last game we're playing for the night. This is Mill versus an aggressive focus speed deck. So it's a game that involves characters and then you play upgrades and supports to make those characters do more damage or add supports onto the field to saturate the field with more dice. And then the way you do damage or the way that you get money or shields or any basically anything you really do in the game um, is mostly done by dice and what they roll. And then you can use cards to manipulate those dice or to do damage depending on what dice are showing in the field, things like that. Well, that was a good game. It went on for a while, and you were close. Just the biggest thing was timing those uh, those ancients. So yeah. No, I I I pitched a reroll with the flames of the past because I was like, I'll get his ancient. I won't I be worried see. about it. And he could have flames and of the then past. And he ancient. played the second ancient. Yeah. So flame, if you check out um, like Jacobin Game, Star Wars Destiny, um, the community on Facebook, uh, check out our YouTube channel. Um, if you go back when we first started playing this game, you can see kind of things that we did. Um, we would do build, build, destroys kind of in the beginning, which is where we'd pick char character pairings, try to keep them in the 30 point cost that's available to us. And then we would try to build cards and supports and play. So check it out. We'll, we'll build a deck in 10 minutes, pretty much. So if you play any card games, imagine doing it really fast. Well, Kevin, I think that's it, man. I think that's what you wanted to finish the stream with, right? It's 1230. So that's usually about yeah, the time we wrap yeah. things up. We got an extra half hour in. Yeah. All right. And we got to test the second stream and no complications. Yay. So it was something with whatever was going on with the internet. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Well, Joe, Flame, Charlie's already left. Everyone else that's watching, other five viewers, um, you guys have a great night. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, our Patreon members have been growing. Um, some we had to plate just because people are entering in for the winner box. Um, but if you guys don't know about that, check it out. Um, uh, sir, Lone Star, thanks so much, man, for all your support. Yeah, for real. So hopefully you'll be able to benefit from that. And as we grow, um, as we focus on the in real life gameplay and the TTS and our standard gameplays, we're trying to simplify that a little bit more. Um, then we're going to start focusing more on what we're going to start offering our Patreons. Um, so yes, we're at 900 subscribers. So we are growing. We are trying to monetize before January 23rd, right, Kev? 21st. 21st. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to start focusing on Twitch and start focusing on more things and then just try to just spread out and focus and then not get too ahead of ourselves, but just focus on gameplays and deck techs and uh, just trying to start winning more. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, second place at a store championship with the guy that won North American regionals getting second place to him. Yeah, that was to go. And he was a great player. And the cool thing about Andrew is uh, he's been repping really hard. Even at Nova, he was like in the top. Uh, yeah, he, top he, four or top six? I don't remember. He made it to the the second day. I just yeah, don't he made know to how the top far of the second day. So um, he's becoming a pretty good friend of ours and a really nice guy. And he is uh, in, interested in doing more stuff with us. Um, so that's that's encouraging. actually Joe um, Ashton's. You know, they made a deal that if Ashton got to go against him, uh, Andrew would bow out. But Ashton said no. He wants to like <laughs> Highlander it, and they're gonna right. only be one. And, and and played the game and lost. Yeah, he was like, "Hey, you know, I've already got this. I've already got the buy. If you, I'll just if if you go against me, I've already won. I think you already won one store championship or two. I think." And he's like, "I'll just take the buy." I'm like, "No, I really want. If you're gonna beat me, if you're, I'm gonna play you, you have to beat me. And I'm not gonna just, you know, I don't want to be that guy that just placed first because the other guy just dipped out. That's that's dumb. So I'm proud of you, Ash. Anyway, so um. Also, check out our website. You guys uh, go to www.jackmangames.com. Uh, check out those articles there. Um, I have not been able to catch the most recent one for Headless Django, but there's great stuff, especially for new players. Um, Headless Django writes about his... Uh, 
faults and what he's learned from them and how he's become a better player because of them. So anyone that's new to the game or anyone that just feels a little discouraged, um, reading his articles is, is a great way to kind of boost yourself back up. And we also have stickers, Jacqueline Game stickers are like $2 a piece. Um, that we actually get a little bit of a percentage back from whatever you guys purchase from that link. And then we're using that money to put back into equipment and cameras and things like that. Um, there's t-shirts on sale for $14 if you guys are interested in that. A uh, great way to kind of support your Jackalman. Um, if you guys end up getting that stuff, take some pictures of it. We'd love to share it around. And uh, hopefully Wait, how we'll much see are they? $2 for a sticker and $14 for a t-shirt. $14 for a shirt. Oh my gosh, this is actually really good. <laughs> yeah, and I think if you catch them on sale at the right time, um, you'll get like 30% off and then you get like uh, crazy deals on shipping. So definitely check it out. Ugh, they're big stickers. They're not little stickers. Yeah, they're like, I don't know, like two and a half inches, I think. They're, yeah. Okay, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks so much. <laughs> and uh, we really appreciate y'all's support. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Okay, bye. All right, take it easy.